Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to make prawn toast, the type that you get from the Chinese takeaway. It's really easy to make and you need few ingredients. So you need 200 grams of cooked and deshelled prawns. I've just got mine from frozen and I've just defrosted them first. You need two spring onions and I have just trimmed these down. I've got one garlic clove, one medium egg, one tablespoon of corn flour which will help the mixture to thicken slightly and just for seasoning I'll be adding one teaspoon of chili flakes. Now you do need some sesame seeds that will go on the top of the prawn toast and then I'm using eight slices of white bread that I have cut the crusts off and I've just cut into triangle shape like so. Now you want to use kind of not stale bread where it's mouldy but you want to use stale bread where you can. If you can't get some, like I couldn't get any. So what I did is last night I got the eight pieces of bread out and I just left them on the side, just kind of firm up just a little bit. You would also need some oil for frying. The very first thing that you're going to do is you're going to put all of your ingredients, apart from the sesame seeds and the bread, into a food processor. So that is the two spring onions, garlic, you want all these prawns into there. Then the corn flour, the chili flakes, and then lastly the egg. And you are just gonna blend this up until it forms a paste. Now that's all mixed together, it just smells gorgeous already. You are going to place some of the mixture onto one side of the bread. And you want to make sure you get a nice even layer and then you get a nice amount of filling onto the bread. And then what you'll do with this is you will just place it face down with the prawn paste on to the sesame seeds. Like so. And then you're going to carry on doing that until all of these have been made up. Then it's time to fry them. All of these are done. Now it's time to fry them off and cook them. So you want to heat your oil up nice and high, but you don't want it smoking hot. The way that you can test your oil is get a little piece of breadcrumb, put it into the oil. And if it springs back and you can see bubbles around it, then you know that the oil is hot enough to cook. So you don't want to place loads in the pan at once because it would be really hard to handle. I'd roughly place about three in the pan at the time. So you want to put the sesame seeds first down. And you're going to cook these on this one side for roughly three minutes. Then you're going to flip it over and cook it for a further minute. Make sure you have a plate ready to put them onto. You could put some kitchen roll down to absorb any of the excess oil. And there we have it, some prawn toast, Chinese style. I'm going to be serving mine with some sweet chilli dipping sauce. Of course, you can use whatever dipping sauce that you want. So let's just have a taste. These are just perfect. The garlic, spring onions and chilli flakes just add so much flavour. They're soft in the middle, but crunchy on the outside. You want to make sure that you don't overcook these. They only take a few minutes on one side. Once you start to see them go brown on the outside, then you need to flip them over and cook them for a further minute or so. That is it. So I'm going to enjoy these now. Make sure you catch me every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday for more recipes. I will see you again.